Hi guys and welcome to another iPhone tutorial. This is going to be the first in a series of web services and the reason why I think web services are so important is because these allow you to provide dynamic content to users. If you have an app on the store and want to update it, it takes 5, 10, 15, 20 working days to update even one small piece of information. So if you're able to dynamically control this from a web service, it's invaluable, especially if it's you know fast, fluid and easy to change. So this is going to be the very first in a few season, series of them using different kinds of connections. This was going to be JSON, then later I'll use PList, maybe RESTful API, and all different kinds. So for this, all I've made is a simple table controller. Um, it's similar to the ones I've made before my tutorials programmatically, except instead of um, doing it all by code, I just made a, just made a uh, window based op application did the usual things, imported the files, made a view controller and app controller, added them to the view, then cleaned up a lot of the garbage in here. I've done a set the title and build and run. It's going to be an empty table view contro table controller. Um, this empty code will be on GitHub as well as the finished product. This will take several recordings to make because it's quite a lot in it for do not the clean up and necessary bits and bobs. Okay, this is a very basic example of how to use JSON. It's just using a single connection, uh, which is not the best thing to use in a release app. This is just an example of how to connect to web service, pull the information, and translate it into your results. And later on, I'll make a much better version using the Bing API, so you can search Bing natively on the app and return the, J the JSON results to a table view and access websites that way. But for now, let's keep it simple and we're going to begin. Go into your root table controller and just make a few properties. The very first thing is make the basis. So we're not even look at the GUI just yet. For now, it's just going to be a few simple things. A string, um, JSON data, uh, property, not atomic, retain, uh, NS Earl, JSON Earl. And property monatomic retain NS mutable array JSON array. Okie dokie, and jump into your M file and of course synthesize JSON URL, JSON data, and JSON array. And of course, since we are creating objects, we must release them. So JSON URL release JSON uh, data release not retain and of course JSON array release. Okay, doc. Now as you see, we're just going to do the very basics at the moment. We're just going to connect um, to the web service, try and return the data, and then see what we get from that. So the very first thing we have to do is we have our JSON URL. So we want to use this URL to return um, a well a JSON object. For now we can make the URL to connect to the web service. So JSON URL equals NS URL URL with string. And then I've made a, a simple web service uh, using PHP, which is just five images, and you'll see now how they look in a second. Okay, so this is one of my little web things I set up. So it's gonna we're going to use this URL, which is this, to connect and then return the array of images to the program. Okay, so then we have we want to use this URL obviously. So. JSON data equals NS string. Sorry, one second. As I would say earlier, I'm using two screens at the moment to do this because it's quite a lot to go on here. String, string with. Sorry. Yep, I'm going around the wrong way. It's doing it backwards. In it with. That's what. I'm we're in it with contents of URL. Oh, 
and then Jason Earl. Actually, I'm just gonna not gonna bother with any of these things at the moment. Just, this is the right way of doing it, but we're just gonna skip that for the moment. It's, it might give me one of this deprecated because you're supposed to do, de um, define what the encoding is. But for now, we don't really need to do that just yet. It's just a very simple example at the moment. So now, uh, we have declared an array earlier called JSON array. So self dot JSON array equals JSON data JSON value. Now this is going to be an error because we haven't actually imported JSON files yet. Now if you go, to, it, it'll work, but we haven't specified it. But at the top here, file and import JSON dot h, and it's a good habit just to also import sbjson. sbjson is the better one, but for this particular example, we're using the the JSON value kind of casting. So for now we just want to actually test what the result's going to be. So ns log percent at json array build and run ok and you can see it's returning the five images I have in an array on my web service and if you don't believe me these are actually on the internet you can check that yourself now what might happen is might try and download the file, but go ahead, there's nothing there, although I accept no responsibility for damages. But this is basically what I have saved in my file on a web server. Just five images I downloaded to my computer, uploaded them to a hosting site, which is Photobucket, got the the URLs, stuck them into an array, and then this had to look if you actually do view them. It's just a big long string of URLs. Now we want to put these URLs into the um, actual contents of the um, table cell. Okay, so first things first, number of section in table, that's going to be one because we only have one section. Now, but number of rows in section, haha, that's where it gets funny. We want JSON array count. So we saw there's five there, so we want to return five. Um, five cells, five rows in the section even. Okay, now next bit. Cell dot text label dot text equals JSON array JSON array object for an index index path dot row. Okay. So this should return, I just realize this probably gave me a problem, so I declare it as a self. So this now should return the entire number of URLs into our table view. And there we go. Now it's not going to do anything because we haven't specified what's going to happen with this just yet. But as you can see, these five are being returned from here. You can see all the names barbecue.png, halloween.png. Okay, you can't see them there, but they are being returned down here in the printout. Now I'm going to leave that here because next we want to set up a new view which is going to take the URL, pass the URL through the following view, and load an image view in that view with the URL from another view. That probably makes no sense just now, but stay tuned. I'm going to make the next one shortly and then. Both codes, this code, the startup code, and the following code will all be on GitHub. Hope you enjoyed it. Please watch the next one. Thank you. Goodbye.